Well, I'm back. I took an unexpected break since my last vlog. My trip to Wyoming was cut short after one day when my dad had to go in for emergency quintuple heart bypass surgery. Yeah, you heard that right, quintuple. It was very serious and we weren't sure he was going to make it. So with the support of my client, I left to go be with he and my mom. After seven days, he was out of the hospital and he's been doing very well. He's back to walking two miles a day and even went for a hike in Zion National Park. I returned home and felt pretty overwhelmed. I had a pile of work waiting for me, a secret project that I can't wait to tell you about soon, and lots of fall shoots. I'm not complaining because lots of work is good when you run your own business. My season ended on a very high note, and if you follow me on social media like Facebook and Instagram, you've seen some pictures of a Percheron team that I photographed in beautiful autumn color. Those were the Ames Percherons, and they are based in the Twin Cities, but they travel all over the country and Canada to compete in uh, draft horse competitions. <laughs> I had done a short shoot for them in uh, September and had created this image. Uh, it's one of my favorite images ever. The sky was really that red. It was red because of smoke from wildfires out west and we just hit it right with the sun setting and it was just a remarkable experience. Photographing something so large and so fast moving is not easy. Just when I think I have things set the way I see, the horses would enter the frame and I would be zooming out. I kind of have a compositional way of seeing with just a couple of people or one person and one horse and so I really had to think outside the box in order to get great photos of this team. In this vlog I include some footage of me thinking out loud and you'll hear in one clip where I'm telling myself to commit and it's that how do I make it better mantra philosophy that I have that that keeps me moving and, and trying to get the best composition and be in the best location. But with that framing thing and with the movement, I had a really hard time committing and just planning my feet to get the shot. For this shoot, I used three lenses. I used a 24 to 105 for the wide angle shots of the horses coming at me, but also for shots where I was in the driver's seat, not driving, shooting, but uh, where I was trying to get the perspective of the driver. And then I also used my assistant's 100 to 400. I didn't have my Tamron 150 to 600 with me, and so I borrowed her lens. And it's a push-pull zoom, so that took a little extra effort than I'm used to, but it was fun to play with something different. This photo shoot took place on an unseasonably warm day in October. The sky was just a vivid blue, and the landscape was ablaze with autumn color. Travis Shaw and his team arrived hours before our planned start time to prep the horses, get them all harnessed to the wagon. I mean, you almost wouldn't believe how much work goes into it, right down to braids in their manes and tails and polish on their hooves. Once the horses were ready to go, we set off down the trail. And here's the rest of the experience from behind the lens. Thank you. 